Uh, mixed martial arts training sessions are transforming the lives of homeless people in Sheffield. Uh, that's thanks to a project backed by one of the city's universities. A researcher from Hallam Uni who helps organise those sessions says it's dramatically improving vulnerable people's lives. Mark Hansel reports. Alcohol and drug addiction were ruining Emily's life even before she started at university in Sheffield. These mixed martial arts classes have helped her stay clean for a year and she's now graduated from uni and works with people in recovery. I was just so alone before, whereas now I'm like, these guys, you know, they're the best. It just makes me feel really strong. Like, it makes me... Cos I've always been somebody that would sort of, like, hide away, you know, make myself small. Um, but I think... I don't know, I just love, like, expressing myself in that way, um, being bold and taking up space, you know. It's the first time in my entire life where I've had command in my body, where I've been present in my body. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's absolutely fair to say that it saved my life. Mark helps run the sessions, but is also doing his PhD research on how mixed martial arts can be used to help people who are at risk of homelessness. His findings are very encouraging. Before the MMA sessions, they may have been more prone to sort of dealing with stress, either by having sort of negative spirals into sort of mental health or using poor coping mechanisms like taking drugs, um, they're actually able to transfer the skills and transfer the control that they developed through mixed martial arts training into the outside world and go on to achieve some really good things. Chris was homeless for six months, living in a tent above Sheffield Railway Station. He's been coming to these classes for two years and it's transformed his life. You know, it's given me the opportunity, opportunity to, learn, to, to meet new people, to learn new skills. They hope these sessions will be replicated across the country so more people at risk of homelessness can find a positive outlet for dealing with their problems. Mark Ansell with that report. Now